Yo, what's up guys and welcome to another Spider-Man video. Today's video, we're going to be covering the, all the uh, Fisk hideouts. And we're going to be doing all of them and tackling all the objectives uh, as early as we possibly can in the main campaign. And we're going to be doing them on spectacular difficulty, also with the added challenge of not taking any damage. Now, um, also during these video and uh, during these sequence of videos I'll be doing on these hideouts, is I'll be showing you the skill uh, tree that you should be taking in order to successfully do these as, as easy as possible. So uh, first of all, we can do the very first one that comes across in the main story mode, and uh, you can't avoid it because it's a, a part of the main story. So the first skill you want to go ahead and rec uh, I recommend using is the perfect dodge. And once you push circle, uh, you will uh, dodge the bullet at the perfect moment and it will slow down time, enough for you to uh, you know attack your enemies. Then you want to hit the perfect hits, which will improve the focus, the combo booster, so which the higher you, your combo is, the more uh, focus you will gain. Next, you want to get the air marshal and air swing, the swing kick, I should say. Uh, they will help you out tremendously with groups and stuff like that. But they're the main ones that you want to get as early as possible. If you can't get all of these, then that's fair enough. But uh, yeah, well, as a, in regards to the suit powers, use battle focus. It'll help you out tremendously building that focus once again. And also, you want to go ahead and use combat analyzer if you can get those landmark tokens a little bit later on. And uh, for now, we're not going to use any suit mods because it's a bit too early in the game for us. But I will be using them in the next one. So this is the first hideout mission that we got, and uh, you have to perform 10 finishes and web 5 enemies to the walls. So I'm just going to show you that I'm on spectacular difficulty here. Again, like I said, we're not going to be using any, um, we're not going to be taking any damage or whatsoever. But so first of all, we're going to be taking out these couple of guards here first with the impact web. Very powerful gadget to use. I highly recommend using that because it, it can help you out tremendously. Just knocking people off the building will actually get you the web five enemies to the walls because if you didn't know if you knock enemies off the building uh, they will attack themselves automatically to the side of the building you can't actually kill anybody in this game uh, like i said it's all uh, it's all pacification rather than uh, then rather than actually killing them so what you, all you gotta do is knock people off the building and they'll web themselves to the wall automatically alternatively use the impact web and then you can go ahead and and do that but uh, so hopefully you enjoy this first hideout i've been showing you here i had the quickest way to get all these challenges done, so I hope you enjoy.
So this is the second fist card out, isn't going to be in the financial district. We need to perform 10 perfect dodges and stealth take down three different snipers. Now the skill path I've chosen is mainly that the defender, after I've acquired all the tokens from the landmark and the uh, crime challenges, and also the backpacks, to get all the XP from that to acquire enough tokens for these. Chain finisher being the most important one. The reason for that is you can perform a second finisher straight after your first one. Uh, which will basically get a second finisher for free when you're right next to an opponent. Air Marshal, which will give you, give you more damage while you're in the air. And Quick Zip, which will give you a second Quick Zip without losing any altitude. Now, for the, the suit mods, you want to use Battle Focus for the, uh, the suit power. Combat Analyzer will give you more XP for defeating enemies. And the final one being the Power Discharge Cells, which will basically give you more focus when you're doing combat and all that kind of stuff. So uh, this is how I basically did it. I went around getting all the snipers first and doing a perch takedown on that guy. You can do a, a web strike takedown, which is a very effective uh, way of taking down enemies quite quickly in stealth mode. And we're going to go ahead and knock these ones out as well. So that's, that's, that's all three done already. So all we need to do now is do perform 10 perfect dodges. And because we've already unlocked that skill, it will automatically give us the chance to uh, complete this objective and get those extra base, uh, base tokens. So we are, this is effectively how I do it. When you take out groups of enemies as well, but by the way, an effective way of actually um, gaining extra focus, which will get you those finishes, is doing the air strike. So when you hold square, you'll punch them in the air and do a combination in the air. It will increase your focus bar even more. That will uh, you know increase your chances of getting, of getting your bar up. Also, make sure you take full advantage of your impact webs and all your little gadgets as well, because they will also get up your focus and uh, just use everything within your power. Don't just spam square on these enemies because it's a lot harder when you do that. You need to keep in mind of all the enemies that are attacking you, shooting you, firing rockets at you, snipers. That's why in each area you're better off taking the snipers out first because they become very inconvenient to take out. Also, don't be afraid to just stand there as well. If you want to stand there and wait for that perfect dodge moment, if you're good at the dodging and you've got that skill where you can increase the window of the perfect dodge, Spider-Man will spray the web in their face and give you a perfect chance to attack them. Also, if anyone is firing a pistol at you and you do a perfect dodge, Spidey will shoot a web in their face and then you can automatically push triangle and you will take them down in one hit, which is a really a useful, effective skill as well. So as you level up your skills, this will all become easier and easier. In regards to your finishes, once, you prioritize, once you've got your, uh, your focus bars up to you get your finishes, prioritize the people that have the swords, the shields, them sort of guys, because then you can just get rid of those. Everyone else, uh, they're lower priority because they don't have any weapons. But uh, yeah, they're, they're the people that you want to prioritize before anything else. Again, if you're low on focus, activate your battle focus, which is your suit uh, power. That will increase your focus dramatically. And just keep keep going and keep doing all these finishes. It's very simple. Also, when you knock enemies down and they'll fall over, uh, do an impact web on them and you'll take them out of the equation completely. Also, if they're next to a wall, make sure you do uh, an impact web against them or really just a web shooter. In fact, you can pin them against the wall and just take them out of the equation. Again, using these gadgets to your advantage is very, very useful and effective. So just use it because it's like that part of your arsenal that's there for a reason. Just go for it.
The next one is going to be in the upper west side, and this, for this one you need to perform 3 stealth takedowns and throw 10 objects. Because it's like a construction site, there's going to be a lot of objects around, so you shouldn't need to worry too much about all the, uh, all the, all the throwable items. It is quite a, one of the easy um, bases in my opinion, one of the easy Fisk hideouts. So uh, yeah, well, first of all we go ahead and take out as many people as we possibly can at the start with the perch takedowns. So make sure you do scan the area with the R3 button and it says safe over the top of the enemy's head. If you just take out the guard that I'm taking out here, uh, you can just do the first objective very easily and then uh, move on to whatever you want to do next. Again, you can carry on stealthing if you want to all the way up to wave 2, but um, for some reason what the game should do is allow you to stealth the entire thing, that would be pretty cool, but because it's a wave system, rather than just having a set a certain amount of enemies, you know, by the time you've stealthed everybody in wave 1, you're going to have wave 2 of enemies anyway. But for the second objective, just make sure you look out for all the things that are around the area, and throw your items at you. But the thing is, when you've got these items as well, that you've been that you're throwing around the area, there's a lot of enemies that are going to be around trying to shoot you, and during your swing, you can ha encounter a problem where you can have, you're going to get shot in the swing up. So, if you to avoid that, just prioritize dodging the shot. There's going to be plenty of items around, and if not, if you do eventually run out of items around the area, they're going to be throwing stun grenades at you anyway, or, or regular grenades, and you can throw those, and they will count as an ob object, a throwable object anyway. So, just don't prioritize attack over dodging. Make sure you prioritize your defense over everything else, because you are going to get hit on spectacular mode. Uh, you know, damage is very, very high. So, like I said, what I'm doing here is just throwing the grenades back at these at these guys and taking them all out as they come, and concentrating on taking out, finishing the people that are most dangerous, like the people with the guns. You know, go for them guys because they're the ones that are going to spoil your party if you're trying to get these throwable objects in there. So the same with the guys, same with the guys with the swords as well. So that guy with the machine gun there, he, he could he could throw me off. Like he's they're throwing grenades at you. And if they're aiming the gun at you at the same time, it could, it could spoil your day. So just make sure you prioritize dodging those uh, shots rather than throwing the objects. Because they're going to be throwing grenades at you anyway. So don't worry too much about it. But in regards to everything else, the same rules apply as the previous one. Uh, prioritize the people with the shields, the swords, the guns. Finish those guys off first, then prioritize everyone else after that. So, uh, yeah. That's all the tips I've got for this one.
So the next one is the upper west side and you need to perform a 20 hit combo and hit three enemies with scaffolding. And in my opinion they are probably the easiest objectives out of all the Fisk hideouts. But if you do exactly what I do at the, here at the start, we need to attract the attention of one of the guards here to go towards this set of scaffolding. Select our impact web. I've been upgrading your gadgets by the way throughout these, just in case you're wondering why I've got more now. But uh, we're distracting that guy over there. Pull the scaffold on him, impact web that guy, and pull the scaffold on the final two enemies. And that'll take care of the final objective. And now we're just going to try and clean up the area a little bit before we have to go into full combat. Take out the enemies that we're taking out here. And now we can move on to the actual battle itself. In regards to this particular base, it, it can be a bit of an annoying one to avoid shots. Because there's a lot of long range sights for the enemies to throw shit at you and throw uh, stuff at you all the time. And shooting you with pistols, snipers, rocket launchers. It can get a little bit annoying. So I tend to just stay around this area here to avoid the gunfire and whatnot. I think it's a good strategy to use. You don't have to build up a massive combo. As long as it's over 20, it doesn't really matter. But obviously with these challenges, I want to build up as big a combo as I possibly can. So I'm always in trying to engage in as many fights as I possibly can before I run out of time. Because if you don't get into any combos after like 2 or 3 seconds, it resets. And I, I really don't like that. I wanted to build up as big a combo as possible to find out what the actual highest combo you can achieve. But I think I achieved a pretty good one in this one. next Fisk hideout is going to be in Harlem and for this one you need to disarm 5 enemies and perform 10 or air launch attacks. So we need to go with this particular skill path as well. So we want to unlock Innovator at start and also unlock the pistol and baton yank. If you have any more skill points you can unlock the uh, the assault rifle one which will make it a hell of a lot easier. Um, but uh, for this particular challenge it's kind of annoying because we have to disarm the enemies as well as not taking any damage on spectacular difficulty so I didn't really care about the other start of being stealthy I just wanted to get it done now the first guy with the pistol is going to be over here and uh, we're just going to yank out of his hand without you know touching him or punching him or anything like that it's just so we can do it again but as you can see it takes about two or three seconds for it to do it so and there's a lot of enemies with weapons in this map purely because uh, purely because of the objective itself so everyone's going to be carrying swords and batons and you know, machine guns and pistols. But we can only uh, yank out uh, the batons and the, the pistols for now because that's the early, early skill path we have. If you've unlocked uh, anyone, anything further, it's going to be a lot easier for you, but if you don't, then this, will, this is the only thing you can do, really, is just yank out the pistols out of the hands and uh, all the people with the batons as well. There's going to be plenty of them as well, so you don't need to worry about uh, missing them. 
But we're actually going to take down all the people with machine guns because they're very, very frustrating. There's a lot of them, like I said. There's also going to be guys with rockets going to be appearing. Uh, but we need to make sure we don't get hit while we're trying to yank out these pistols. So we're making sure there's a bit of a, a bit of a, a you know, a lull in the attack before we actually do it. And that's that's how we managed to achieve it in the end. So the final Fisk hideout is going to be in the upper east side. We need to perform three perch takedowns and knock or throw five enemies off of the building. And in regards to objectives for all these ones, this is probably the easiest one to get the objectives out of the way. Um, but the tips I can give you is make sure you take out all these people with the perch takedowns. The same people I'm doing. It's very simple. But in regards to the knocking or throwing five enemies off the building, if you do a web impact off uh, the people that are standing around the sides, you can knock them off the building quite easily. Alternatively, when you're actually in the battle, you can use your swing kick to your advantage and knock these enemies off quite easily. Alternatively, if you do an air punch, which you launch them all up in the air, uh, Spidey will kick, usually kick them off the edge of the building anyway. So this, these objectives are relatively easy. But uh, just follow the, uh, the basic things that I was talking about previously in the previous clips of the previous hideouts. Uh, prioritizing the people and getting your uh, focus up as much as possible, doing a lot of air combos because they've got your uh, focus meter up a lot faster. Upgrade your impact web and upgrade your web shooter and your spider drone as well. There's one, one thing I didn't use. There is a spider drone available. You, um, you can use that. They will take out a group of people while well, they will subdue them for a while to give you a bit of a, a bit of a breather when you're taking out some of these enemies. But in regards to the Fisk hideouts, this is probably the easiest one. This is the final one. Uh, most of the battles are going to be taking place over in this area over here. And they get kind of like funneled into this bridge area. But it's not too much, it's not too difficult to handle these enemies. They're quite easy in comparison to some of the others. 
But uh, yeah, like I said, when I'm doing these air launches here, I'm literally just kicking them off and we're doing a swing kick to kick them off the edge of the building as well. You only need five, so it's not a particularly di uh, difficult task to achieve. Hey, new arrivals! Did I mention this is a red party? Chip in! No, for real, I need red money! So that was the final Fisk hideout done. That is all the Fisk hideouts completed uh, on spectacular difficulty without taking any damage. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to drop the like on this video and subscribe if you are brand new to the channel. And hit the bell notification to be notified of all future videos. Or we'll be covering more hideouts in the future, including the prisoner ones and the sable ones. And I will be doing the boss fights as well. So subscribe if you are brand new to the channel. Hit the bell notification to be notified of all future videos. Consider supporting me on Patreon or even becoming a member of the channel. All the links will be in the description. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.